Hello dear friends, in this lesson we will um, listen and then um, feel, <laughs> oh I'm sorry, listen and feel, you see, I'm a little bit tired today with this, <laughs> with everything with this, but I decided to record the video for you because this task of interactive listening at Duolingo, uh, firstly, is very interesting and secondly, provokes, you know, causes a lot of trouble to guys. The first no, the main problem is the inability to write a good summary. Because a lot of you, maybe the majority of you, uh, can choose here more or less well. Yes. But to summarize this conversation with a professor or with a friend in 70 five seconds is very very uh, you know it's it's challenging to anybody not only to student or to candidate i think if we you know in the U U in the united states we take one person adult person in the street explain this task to him or her and uh, then ask to summarize it in writing in 70 seconds you know somebody will do it well and but i think it's 50 50 a lot of guys they will do it not very well so because uh, there is a skill involved in this the skill of thinking broadly and uh, not everybody is endowed with this by nature so we have to practice okay guys so if you have only started your way to dealing with success let me remind you that this is a task called interactive listening as i have told you firstly you see the preface uh, this preface explains you the problem usually there is a problem but not always sometimes it's a discussion of some pluses and minuses of for example of, of a part-time job but in maybe you know 80% of cases there is a problem for example you don't know what to include in your research paper or you don't know when to go to study abroad in during what term or semester something like that there is a problem then you interact with the professor or with the friend you exchange several questions uh, several sentences about this for example five four or five or six interactions where we have to choose our reaction of course the most appropriate sometimes we start the conversation and sometimes not in this case for example yeah uh, hey I'm just finishing hey hey, hey. we see that we start it's important to realize, you know, we start. Sometimes the professor starts, uh, the, the friend. Uh, then we click next, like we work, work, work. And then after these five or six exchanges, we have to summarize the preface, like the story of this, and then the underlying story, and then what happened in the conversation. Of course, within 70 seconds, it's not very possible to write six or seven good sentences uh, as they show in uh, on Duolingo official website, there the lady she types so fast. I think only one percent of you possesses such as possess such a skill of typing so fast. Uh, so, based on my experience, friends, it's very good that if you can produce uh, two sentences. I tell you, if you can produce two normal sentences in a pr in your summary, you can get one hundred plus for your like for this task maybe even more if you produce two rich sentences and to the point sentences and global really summarizing sentences then you can get whatever you want but the problem is let me repeat myself that most of guys, the majority of guys they cannot write even two they cannot even write one normal sentence because they are excited they confuse letters then they see their mistakes while they're typing then they revert to those words and then they lose everything time and everything so, okay, let's do together this real task from Duolingo. Please remember that this is a real one. It's not a fake. I mean, it's not that I or somebody else took it somewhere and uh, you know, conjured it from my mind. No. Recently, not very recently, somebody was working with it during real Duolingo test. It was recorded from the screen, as I understand. Uh, also, before we start, please remember that I help guys on a regular basis to get what they want at Duolingo English test to raise the score or to pass for the first time and forever something like that to get what you want. So if you need urgent assistance, I always put my contact details 
at the bottom of the screen and in the description to this video so you're welcome to write to me and uh, I hope we will find consensus with you okay remember you have four minutes to the overall conversation and so on so this preface you have to read fast but it does not mean that you just you should read it and forget it I tell you that if you have problems uh, creating the summary this is a great help this one is a great help because you can produce your first sentence of your summary just on this preface but of course having paraphrased it if you can paraphrase and if you remember the preface your first sentence is already there yes at least it's my conviction it's my method it's my approach uh, you're not obliged to put in your first sentence the idea from here yeah I understand it but on the other hand a lot of you you are so excited that you don't remember like who was speaking to somebody about it so it's a very good idea to read it thoroughly you know practice please reading fast but remember what you have been reading Duolingo on purpose formulates here formulates the preface in such a manner that you read and then you don't remember what you have read yes it's it's done on purpose for you not to relax okay let's read it together for your psychology class you are planning to research the effects of different types of support on the mental health of college students you see you have read it and brrr, who what when where why who what health so please practice 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 with your tutor or on your own to read and to pick up main words keywords main words here are you of course it's you okay. psychology it's helpful but it's uh, research then types of support mental health and students so somebody is researching uh, something different types of support and how they affect mental health of students students mental health various types of support the second you are writing your research proposal on this topic but you're not sure what studies to cite in it like to quote in it so you decide to ask your friend for feedback before you show the proposal to your professor so which are the keywords from here uh, you're writing a proposal research proposal you're not sure whom to cite you know to cite to quote to take the sentences or phrases or adages by some scientists including to your so you decide to ask your friend for advice okay so you ask your friend for advice it's uh, before la, 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 la. this should be done in 15 or 20 seconds you look at it you read it you understand it and you retain in your mind the keywords you remember which what are our keywords uh, you are doing a research uh, mental health for students types of support on this mental health and how they influence and you don't know whom to cite to quote in your in your preface on a proposal okay that's it okay yes here we have a lot to read a lot be careful because the lingo of course they they want to cheat you like to trick you it's their job to mislead you <laughs> so be very careful and uh, i understand that there are a lot of words they look like the same and uh, but it's you understand at any test any test you will have some choices some options and everything will be twisted otherwise this text test will be for mentally retarded guys okay so we are starting the conversation hey you are addressing your friend hey i'm just finishing up my report for social work class you see which social no we are st we study psychology you see so social work no hey, i'm just about to submit my research proposal communication studies no it's not communication okay so i've been working on my research proposal statistics now hey i could really use some help with the visuals in my social psychology paper do you have a second uh, you know it can be in theory but social psychology psychology but visuals why visuals we're speaking about sites quotes so we can put like this not to forget but without so all our hope is hinging upon this uh, last one okay so i'm working on my research proposal okay for my psychology class mm -hmm. i'm looking at the effects of different types of support mm -hmm. on the mental health of students yeah do you have a second to look at what i have so far i think this one you see it's ideal it's perfect yes he is addressing a friend or she she's an and uh proposal everything everything so we will listen now 
uh, I hope you will hear and I will hear and we will also see whether it's correct or not mm -hmm, correct if it were incorrect it would be red now let's listen to the reaction of our friend sure that sounds like a really interesting topic mm -hmm. this has been sure that sure this sounds like a very interesting topic you see now I will I will click next and we will see the the transcript the transcript of this because in the real test you will not of course see the transcript of this but oh, sure our friend retorted sure that sounds like a really interesting topic okay we continue you see my friends in this case when you have yeah or thanks or yeah it looks not very nice because yeah is usually a reaction to some to a question or some offer or suggestion but here there is no question there is no idea and there is no urge to do something so yeah i'm excited about it uh, oh, on the other hand, and maybe you could add a section on the methods you plan to add and say, no, 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 see, it's a tongue twister. I'm not sure if my professor would be okay with me choosing this topic. No, because I didn't have problem with the topic. I had problems with the quotes, with sides. No. Yeah, thanks. I think so too. Absurd, because there was nothing think or thing. Why thanks? Why should we thank him for that? No. Okay, I'm just going to read it out loud real quick. Let me know if you might be interested in joining us. Whom? Us. I'm speaking only for myself. No, again, it might be the last one. Okay. Yeah, I thought so too. Mm -hmm. And there are so many studies out about this topic. So I've been looking at a lot of different studies, but I'm not sure which ones to cite. Yes, that's it. You remember I have problems with uh, citing somebody. Yes, again, the last one. Mm -hmm. We are correct. Let's listen to the reaction. Well, what are some of the studies you're considering? Well, what are some of the studies you are considering? Mm -hmm. Remember, please, at the real test, you will not see this. You have to retain it in your memory. It's a question, you see. It's a... Uh, let's see. They, uh, they are direct, uh, directly addressing you, so we have to react. It will be not yes or no, because it's not a closed question, but we have to react somehow. So, like, yeah, uh, it's not likely. Well, there is this study from that look at the effects of social psychology and mental health. See, why 2009? Why study? What uh, looked at the effects of social support? You know, let's put it can be, but but only one study. Okay, let it be. Uh, sometimes you have to select something that is the least unattractive. You see, so you are not sure in any of them but you have to choose something in this case in theory this can be but i don't like it but i think that we should study the effects of different types of support and mental health concern i think that we should study what a study is we should study no no no, no. right now i'm considering including a few graphs what do you think about that no here is asking me about studies not about graphs well these studies seem relevant mm -hmm. i agree but do you really think i could include them he didn't offer any studies to me, you see, but I agree, no, 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 I'm not sure, but maybe you could look at this study on the effects of mindfulness, meditation, mental health, <clears throat> I'm not sure, what are some of the studies you are considering, I'm not sure, why I'm not sure, I'm considering some, you know, my friend, so I think I will leave this one, because it's, there is only one study, but at least one, but study on my topic. Mm -hmm. uh, we are correct. <clears throat> Let's listen. It sounds like it would be really relevant to your research topic. It sounds like it, yeah, it is relevant to your research topic. Yeah. So he's pushing us along, like he's reacting. So now we can tell anything because it, there is no question. There is just some idea. So I can continue the conversation in any way. Yeah, I think so too, but there are so many other studies out there. I'm not sure which ones to include in my proposal, maybe. So he likes that one, but he says that there are others too, and I'm not sure again, blah, 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 I'm not sure, okay. Yeah, I was thinking about that one, but I'm not sure if it's still relevant, because engineering, you understand, you see engineering, and it's a clear distractor, so we disregard it. Maybe, but I'm not sure if they're exactly what I'm looking for. But why they? Uh, he says about it, and here we have they, you see, there is difference, 
Do you know of any good studies that I could... No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, I remember reading about that one. Do you happen to have a copy I could borrow for a couple of days? What copy? What borrow? No, the first one. Uh, he says that, yes, I like this study, but there are others as well. Mm -hmm. Let's listen. Why don't you start with that one and see if your professor has any suggestions for other studies you could cite? Mm -hmm. So, you start with that one and then show it to your professor and uh, probably he has any suggestions for other studies. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, if you have a glance at it, you see, thanks, thanks, thanks. Uh, this is a clear indicator that it's the end of the conversation. Which is very good. You get ready. You get ready for a summary already. You know, you are collecting your thoughts subconsciously. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, it's a suggestion what to do. So, we will react somehow. Yeah? We are expected to react. Like, oh, yeah, I agree. A good idea or something. Like that. This is going to be great. Looking forward to your questions. You know, it's a distractor. No, no questions. Yeah, it's not a bad idea to meet. See you tomorrow. Distractor. Because we weren't going to meet. Okay, those are all good studies, thank you. But we are speaking about only one study, no? Yes, please, that would be a huge help, thanks again. Uh, you understand that this would be a huge help, but he is not going to help. He is just putting forth some suggestions. That's a great idea, thanks for the help, yes. you know, the, This was an idea, that's a great idea, thanks for the help. We check, yes. The task is complete, and now, right away, like at the real text, like the real test, I'm sorry. We will write here. We will write here a summary. Of course, my friend, uh, we, you know, we will write it not in the 70 seconds now, but in a more, in a larger amount of time. But uh, I think that you realize if you can do it two good sentences, let's say in one minute or in one minute 20 seconds, if you practice with a tutor, for example, you will be able to squeeze it into 70 seconds. If you don't know what to write, overall, it's no use to give you 70 seconds or 90 seconds, you will sit and think about it. So, you remember that we have to think widely, globally. This ability and talent of system thinking is not peculiar to everyone, I understand, but, but we have to write. I have such an ability and um, of system thinking, but, uh, you know, you are going to pass Duolingo in several days, not I, yes, so that's why you have to, remember please, try to produce two good sentences. If you can produce three, ho -ho, a, if we have the scheme of two sentences, if I were in your shoes, I would place the problem, you remember, the preface, the problem in the first sentence, and the solution, the result of the conversation in the second. Don't try to render, to convey the whole contents of the conversation, it's impossible. You will kill yourself. You will start writing and you will be out of time. You will not have a complete sentence. So, the first, you remember, I don't honestly remember the whole preface, but I remember the keywords. You remember proposal, mental health of students, which, uh, whom, or like, uh, which studies to quote, something like that. I had a problem. So, uh, some guys, they shout that we must write I, not he or she or the student. I don't like such gibberish. I'm sure that Duolingo doesn't care if you write I or a student or the student. It's uh, Your English is evaluated and assessed not based upon this nonsense. I or student. So, you can start as you like. Start, please, as you wish to. For example, let's put I. So, I. In an ideal scenario, we have to paraphrase the, the preface. Yes, but I don't remember already the preface, so maybe it's a good it's a good practice not to remember the only the keywords because it means that I will now form I will morph my own sentence. So I could not decide which uh, you remember studies. I will put researches to include. Uh, to include into my uh, proposal in uh, psychology. You will say that you wanted to write about mental health of students, blah, blah, blah. It's a very good idea. But, my friend, tell, uh, I tell you, while, while you write this, you will have already 30 seconds left, maximum. So, don't go into the details. You have to think broad. 
wide globally not uh, details will kill you and the second one what is the result what is the takeaway of that conversation the friend recommended to start with the one study which I already had here to show it to the professor and then follow the professor's advice so we have to squeeze it into one medium sized sentence and that is the talent you must have so my friend here we have recommended suggested offered so I recommended you know if you have two or three such interactive listenings of course please avoid writing recommended in each summary because it's it's not very good you know it shows the primitiveness of your uh, thinking here so in one you write recommended in the second you write suggested something like that my friend recommended uh, for proceeding okay proceeding with a chosen study with the chosen study my friend recommended proceeding with the chosen study uh, here I have with the following la 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 or put a comma here and and then follow the professors oh, I'm, oh my god um, just a second you don't see the whole screen I'm sorry oh my god I, I wanted to Okay, and then to follow, uh, maybe, and what if I click like that? Okay, and then to follow the professor's uh, advice. Advice is a peaceful, not very high level word, but... Uh, so, my friend, you can say that it's primitive, boring... Uh, uh, let's read it again. I could not decide which researches to include into my proposal in psychology. My friend recommended proceeding with the chosen study and then to follow. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. proceeding and then following. Yes, yes, uh, I'm sorry because you see I was commenting and uh, following, following, of course. Because it's more homogeneous, it's parallel. So if you write here ing, of course, here better write an ing. But if you write to follow, it's not a big catastrophe, but you know. Following the professor's advice, yes. If you write like this, I tell you it's 120 plus, 150, 120, 125. It's impossible to assess your. They don't assess your uh, uh, like uh, listening interview or interactive listening just separately. They don't give you a score for your interactive listening. But you know, based on my observations and statistics and everything, yes. So this is a way like, of normal, medium, good. Uh, summary as I see with my students one in maybe 30 guys will write like this because you are worried you are anxious you're making a lot of mistakes spelling mistakes then you see them like you forgot oh my god you go here uh, but while you go here you are anxious again you mix uh, you confuse the buttons you put something like and then, oh my god and then you again you proceed to you persist in and then you know you don't for example produce this whole part so my friends what to do what to do there are several strategies but uh, if i were you and you see a mistake like here when you're already typing here please finish it finish it quickly and then return to this if you don't return like here the system will understand that if you have a good summary then maybe some typo will be forgiven you see but if you have done something with this but didn't write like this you understand you will have a low score at least it's my mm, position on this i cannot validate it on some you know verify it anyhow but uh, i have been in this tutoring for 20 plus years and i have been helping guys to ace the test for 20 years so i i think i know what i'm talking about okay my friends if you need assistance you're welcome to drop me a line uh, there are some testimonials on my websites and uh, you will see that I help the guys from all over the globe. A lot of them are from Ukraine, of course, because I'm from Ukraine, but also from Latin America, from, you know, from any, from Europe. It's the, it doesn't matter. Okay, my friends, wish you success at Duolingo and see you in our next videos.